here's a cool tip. Baseball pitchers need to have a pitch count. So at, at eight years old, 50 pitches is the most pitches, pitches you should throw. And it should go up five pitches a year until you're 18. And so then you're up to 100 pitches a game. And even Major League Baseball pitchers, when they approach 100 pitches, they want to get them out of the game. Now, young softball players, they should try to limit their pitches to a, some degree, but not to the same kind of degree. I usually say, you know, more like 70 pitches, and then they should get some rest. You will see college softball pitchers. If you watch the, the, the uh, College World Series for softball, you'll only see one pitcher for each team every game. And they, they can pitch, you know, 100 pitches on, on Friday, 150 pitches on Saturday, and play two games on a Sunday. You'll see a college pitcher pitch 700 pitches. It's just amazing. And, and because that motion is so natural, I mean, they, they do but fine. But baseball is different. And a quick question for you. With, with baseball pitchers, the question always is with youngsters throwing all these different types of pitches, twisting the arm in and out, which puts a lot of force on that, that elbow joint. That's right. What age can you start doing those types of things? So you should only throw just a straightforward fastball when you get started. And then at about 14... You can start to do a change up at 16, you can start to throw a curve, and then at 18, you can start throwing some of these crazy ones like sliders and screwballs, which lead to all kinds of unnatural movements. But really, until you get halfway into high school, you shouldn't even be trying curveballs. And my one last point is baseball and softball, they're the one sport where you could be sitting there and standing there on the bench and be the designated hitter, and you go out there and you hit the ball, and all of a sudden you've been sitting there for an hour, and all of a sudden you're supposed to run as fast as you possibly can. So kids, you guys should stay warm in the dugout, you know, doing jumping jacks, whatever it may be, to stay warmed up because that's a lot of injuries occur that way as well, especially us grown-ups when we try to play softball on the weekends. I have seen so <laughs> many torn hamstrings. Oh, I'm going to go catch this fly ball. <laughs> it, it happens so frequently, so make sure you warm up. You guys think you can do these exercises? Yeah. You willing to try it? You going to keep enjoying softball this spring? Can I say thank you for coming today? Thank you so much, Cannon Royale. It was so fun to have you here. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.